Boom. Yeah. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Ratchet and Clank 2. And depending on where in the world you are, the the game's uh, subtitle or whatever to call it is different. So for me in Europe, it's what was it called? Locked and loaded. But in America, this is known as going commando. So from <laughs> it's kind of funny from the sec this second Ratchet and Clank game and forward. Almost all of the Ratchet and Clank games uh, secondary title is a sexual innuendo. It's really funny. I don't really know why they changed that title with the European version to Locked and Loaded instead, but anyway. So this is the PS2 game I've been talking about so much that I couldn't play, so I had to play Kirby's Adventure instead, and because it, I need to repair my PS2, my PS2 works now, and I've finally been able to... Uh, yeah, start recording this because we did the World of Warcraft cooking and fishing and stuff. And that one-off I did of Galaga. But now it's fine. We'll find go and you can see they're, they're sitting here playing the game. And I did Let's Play the first game previously. So if you haven't seen that Let's Play, I'll link that down below if you want to go and watch that first. Uh, and this is actually one of the few Ratchet and Clank games that I haven't played. At all. I played... The first one I played was the third one, which is a great game. L played that through many, many times. That was the game I... When I first got my PS2, I got it with Ratchet & Clank 3. The first game I played twice. Once when I got it, but I could never beat the final boss. And one more time when I... Uh, uh, when I Let's Played it. And then I actually did beat the final boss, even though I had to... Oh, what? Now they're playing something different. Is that that... Jack Daxter series. I've actually I've never played any of those games. I have no clue whatsoever. I haven't seen the games at all. This is the first time I see any gameplay of it, even I think. <laughs> it looks pretty similar, to be honest. Um but yeah, so Ratchet and Clank 2. I have never played it. So this is a blind let's play as you've seen by the thumbnail because I started that thing with Kirby's Adventure, so new game. Would you like to create a Ratchet and Clank save file? Yes. And because I do have a save file from the first game in this, there might be some bonuses. Because I know in the third game you can get special stuff if you have played the second and the, f the first and the second game. Creating... Oh, that, this is taking some time. I only do have one memory card for my PS2 that I got from the beginning, but it has worked out so far. It's, it can fit a lot of games in there. But this is taking quite some time. Oh, you have four files. Okay. Uh, select file. Well, we'll go with the first one. <laughs> uh. Welcome back to Bahamas. Oh, it's a bit low. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy. Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then <laughs> things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the distant Bogon galaxy. Miss Noodlebottom, I found our man! Seconds later? I kinda recognized. Oh, whoa. Welcome! What the? I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude. Sustenance? A mission of, peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably. <laughs> a few days ago, this top secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal master. 
mastermind. And I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisation for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis, and our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. <laughs> As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, macrame, ballroom dance, and origami. <laughs> Why do you need origami and macrame? <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. Track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector Seven. Infill tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. So instead of the stupid leather cap, you actually get the space suit armor thing. Oh, and this, uh, this seems more like the third game with these animations. Yeah. Planet Aranos. It just throws me right in there. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. Without Clank? Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. So I'm sorry about the zzzz noise. I can even hear it myself. It's because, well, the PS2 is an old console. So I'm using old timey cables. And it didn't work recording with my. Uh, uh, Elgato, so I had to record it with my Hapash, which I rarely use anymore. Uh, it was the one I got first, but I rarely use it now. Okay, so... Whoa, Oko, no, 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 no. We can't have the settings like this. Uh, options... Uh, camera... Yeah. Left and right movement should be reversed. Uh, Widescreen off. Well, this is play being played on a widescreen, so... Is this... Th does this make any difference to you guys? Wait, so... Oh yeah, th this is much better, but the camera is still a bit slow with the control stick. Hmm... Uh, okay... <laughs> this is a funny episode with a lot of options and stuff. Uh, camera... Camera speed, oh yeah, fast. Uh, oh, I forgot to test the up and down. Uh, so is this... Oh, yeah, this is much better. Is this up and down? Yeah, well, that this is pretty good. I, I guess I'll know more later. This is... Okay, this is that attack button. This is shoot. I'm just hoping... Do they, do this game... Ha does this game have... Fi oh, thank God. Eh? Ah, strafing. Strafing! Yes! It has strafing. Oh, the first game didn't have strafing. That made it so difficult, but... Ah, uh, strafing. Uh, you can move and shoot in the same direction and avoid things instead of running around like this and having to shoot and like... Ah! And... Ah, ah. Straf I love strafing. Ah, oh, strafing! And... Okay, so aim. And this... Oh, this is weapon choice. So I have... Oh, Lancer and Gravity Bomb. Then I'm just hoping, I don't know if they, because the first game didn't have the weapon upgrades, this might have that. I'm not sure, because, well, there is a little meter underneath them that looks empty, because it only fills up when you shoot enemies. And we haven't shot any enemies so far. Oh, this is, oh, just putting ratchet, ratchet so that he's facing the other way of the camera. Oh, oh, here's map, flying lab. And a question mark. Uh... View mission X. Okay. Fist Widget has given you the first mission. Infiltrate the flying base in Sector 7 and find the stolen experiment. So, I have a feeling that he's tricking us somehow. It, it went a bit fast now in the beginning here. I'm, I'm not completely sure exactly what went down, but here we go. Button. Yep. Oh, it was an elevator. Weapons. Hold triangle and select an icon with the left analog stick. Oh, how nice of you. I'm just gonna go ahead and check again with the widescreen option. Well, sound, music, yeah, well, this is good. And stereo, mono, stereo, yeah, whatever. Uh, controls, no. With camera, yeah, here. If we turn this off again... 
it looks like this. There's this weird line in the middle of the screen. Can you see that? Uh, but yeah, it looked better like this, I think. Special, what's this? Sheets. Oh yeah, you unlock sheets by getting skill points. This is much more like the third game, which I really like. Okay, so you only get the names of the skill points, just as in the third game. Like, what to do, and then you have to, you get, yeah, you get which planet or area they're in, and the name of it. So as like a um, hint towards what you need to do. And it's just visual things, usually with sheets. And watch movies and unlock things that you unlock later. Press circle to fire your Lancer. Phew. Not that I need to, but I'd rather use my wrench to collect some bolts here. Whoa, oh, oh, spider thing. Oh, whoa. Okay, <laughs> need, need to start to get used to this. But why don't I have Clank with me? Like, yeah, the guy said, oh, he's gonna be an accountant. Wait, can't you throw the wrench? Or may maybe not in this game. Lancer ammo. Uh, yeah, so Clank was gonna be some sort of accountant or something. And I did recognize the, uh, the apartment they showed there for a split second. Uh, that looked like the apartment Ratchet and Clank has in the beginning of the third game. Because I, since I haven't played this, and I know... I won't spoil it if you don't know, because I will play the third game in the future. Uh, oh. You're at full health, so you don't need the nanotech. Okay, I wonder if they used the new nanotech system that the third one has, or the old one with the balls from the first one, because I didn't like that one. Uh, but yeah, so there are some things that the first one didn't end with that ha that that is present in a bit. Oh, oh, mine's present in the beginning of the third one. So there's some things are going to happen in this game that I I'm not sure how to put this. So whoa. yeah, we are on some sort of ship. Right. And there are mountains. <laughs> it's so weird how you're used to... Oh, and now he's like wearing this thing because we're outside. Mask. And now it's off. And... On. <laughs> you use, you're so used to modern games now that this actually doesn't look pretty good. And you can like see weird lines. You can see where the edges of the skybox is. Uh, but you couldn't back in the day because you were used to a certain type of graphics. Whoa, this is a bit trippy. Hmm. Okay, I'll try using the gravity bomb. Hmm, it does look like weapons might actually be upgradable. Oh, that was very efficient. And... Ammo! Gravity bomb ammo. Uh, the first game, it was... Yeah, it is. There is upgrades. I like it. Ooh. Oh, there it is. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no. Look, I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. <laughs> Give my regards to Megacorp. Megacorp. Finish him. Does... <laughs> oh, I love the humor of these games. He's supposed to look like a cool villain and then he just bonks his head. Well, those robots didn't last long. Whoa, 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 whoa. It does feel a little wonky with the controls, but much better than the first game. So this is one of those. Can I destroy? No, I can't destroy these screens. Sometimes you can destroy like objects to get extra money. And this is a slide. Yay! Woo! On the belly. Continue point. Hmm. 
This feels like a gravity bomb job. <laughs> oh, very much so. Oh, oh! And then we go in here. What? Oh. Isn't that a blarg? For some security. You'll bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. Okay, so... He already got all the way out to space. Oh, well, I haven't even gotten damage yet, so... Well, we'll finish these guys off, and then I have to end this first episode here. The, the options episode. <laughs> and there's... Yeah, first episode stuff, I need to sh set the options, I need to talk a lot about the things and stuff. But I'm going to end it here, don't forget to like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! Boom! Yeah! Boom! Yeah! Watch the videos! Boom!